In the previous section of the course, we reordered and summarized data. In this section of the course, we are going to combine data from multiple sources. In this first segment, we are going to use workbooks as templates for other workbooks. In this exercise, we will need the daily call summary underscore start workbook. I have already opened that workbook and saved it under the new name of daily call summary. First, we click the file tab and then click save as. Then in the save as type list, we click Excel template. When we do, Excel displays your system default template folder. Click Save to have Excel save the workbook as a template and close the Save As dialog box. Now click the File tab and click Close. Excel closes the open workbook. Now click the File tab and click New. the new workbook dialog box opens. In the available templates list, click Sample Templates, and then in the list of templates that appears, click Expense Report, and then click Create. When we do, Excel creates a workbook based on the selected template. Now on the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Save button. Then in the Save As dialog box, navigate to the Chapter 7 folder. Then in the file name box, edit the value so it reads Expense Report, and click Save. When you do, Excel saves the Expense Report workbook. Now click the File tab to display Backstage View. Click Recent. And then, in the Recent Workbooks list, click the Daily Call Summary Workbook, but not the template. The Daily Call Summary file appears. Now right-click the Sheet to Sheet tab and click Delete. Excel deletes the worksheet, leaving exactly one worksheet in the workbook. Now click the File tab and click Save As. Then in the Save As dialog box, in the file name box, click Daily Call Worksheet. If necessary, in the Save As Type list, click Excel Template, and then click Save. Click the File tab, and then click Close to close the template worksheet. Now click the File tab, and click New. Then click Blank Workbook, and click Create to have Excel create a new blank workbook. Now right-click any Sheet tab, and then click Insert. Excel displays the Insert dialog box. On the General page, click Daily Call Worksheet, and then click OK. When you do, Excel creates a new worksheet based on the template. Now on the Quick Access Toolbar, click the Save button. In the File Name box, type Current Call Summary. Use the dialog box controls to navigate to the Chapter 7 folder. When you're there, click the Save button. When you do, Excel saves your workbook. In this segment of the course, we used workbooks as templates for other workbooks. In the next segment, we are going to link to data in other worksheets and workbooks. In the previous segment of the course, we used workbooks as templates for other workbooks.
In this segment, we are going to link to data and other worksheets and workbooks. To begin, we are going to use two sample files, operating expense dashboard underscore start and fleet operating costs underscore start. I've already opened those workbooks and saved them under the new names operating expense dashboard and fleet operating costs. To start, I have the operating expense dashboard workbook displayed. In that workbook, click cell I6, type in equal sign, but do not press enter. Now on the view tab, in the window group, click switch windows, and then in the list that appears, click fleet operating costs. When you do, the fleet operating cost workbook displays. If necessary, click the plane repair sheet tab to display the plane repair worksheet, and then click cell C15. Excel sets the cell's formula to equal fleet operating cost.xlsx plane repair C15. When you press enter, Excel displays the operating expense dashboard workbook and the value 2,410,871 appears in cell I6. In the switch windows list, click fleet operating costs. Now right click the plane repair sheet tab and click delete. Excel asks if you're sure that you want to delete the worksheet click delete to verify the operation and Excel deletes the sheet. Now in the switch windows list click operating expense dashboard. When you do Excel displays the operating expense dashboard workbook and you see that there is a ref error in cell I6 where you created the formula previously. Now on the data tab in the connections group click edit links. Excel displays the Edit Links dialog box. Ensure that the, make sure that the Fleet Operating Costs link is selected, and then click Break Link. Excel displays a message box asking if you are certain that you want to break the link. You are, so go ahead and click the Break Links button. When you do, Excel removes the link from your workbook. Click Close to close the dialog box. And now in cell I6, type equal, but do not press enter. In the switch windows list on the view tab, click fleet operating costs. Now click the plane fuel sheet tab. Click cell C15 and then press enter. Excel displays the operating expense dashboard workbook with the value 52 million 466,303 in cell I6, and that is the correct value. In this segment, we linked to data in other worksheets and workbooks. In the next segment, we are going to consolidate multiple sets of data into a single workbook. In the previous segment of the course, we linked to data in other worksheets and workbooks. In this segment, we are going to consolidate multiple sets of data into a single workbook. We're going to use three sample workbooks in this exercise, the Consolidate underscore Start workbook, January Calls underscore Start, and February Calls underscore Start. I've already opened all three workbooks and saved them under the names Consolidate, January calls and February calls. First, in the Consolidate Workbook, on the Data tab, in the Data Tools group, click Consolidate. In the Consolidate dialog box, we click the Collapse dialog button at the right edge of the reference field, which causes the Consolidate dialog box to contract. Then, on the View tab, in the window group, click switch windows and then in the list click January calls. 
When we do, the January Calls workbook is displayed. Select the cell range C5 through O13 and then click the Expand Dialog button. When we do, the Consolidate dialog box is restored to its full size and the reference of the cell range we just selected appears in the reference box. Click Add to add that reference to the list of data sets to be consolidated. Now click the Collapse dialog button again to contract the Consolidate Reference dialog box. On the Switch Windows list, click February Calls. And now, in the February Calls workbook, select the cell range C5 through O13 and click the Expand dialog button. The cells we just selected appear in the reference box. Now click Add to add the range to the All References list, which is the list of references that will be consolidated. And now click OK. When we do, Excel consolidates the January Calls and February Calls workbook data into the range C5 to O13 in the Consolidate workbook. We didn't change the sum operation in the function box, so the values in the Consolidate workbook are the sum of the other workbook's values. In this segment, we consolidated multiple sets of data into a single workbook. In the next segment, which is the last segment of the section on combining data from multiple sources, we will group multiple sets of data. In the previous segment, we consolidated multiple sets of data into a single workbook. In this segment, which is the last segment of Section 7, Combining Data for Multiple Sources, we are going to group multiple sets of data. In this exercise, we will use the Operating Expense Dashboard and Fleet Operating Cost Workbooks that we used in the exercise from the second segment of this section. If you haven't completed that exercise, open the Operating Expense Dashboard underscore Start Workbook and the Fleet Operating Costs underscore Start Workbooks and save them under the names Operating Expense Dashboard and Fleet Operating Costs. I have already done so. Now, in either workbook, on the View tab, in the Window group, click Save Workspace. When we do, the Save Workspace dialog box opens. Now, in the Name field, we type expenses and then click save. Excel saves your workspace and closes the save workspace dialog box. Now in the file tab click close and again click the file tab and click close. Excel closes both workbooks. Now click the file tab and if necessary, click Recent, and then click Expenses. Excel opens the Operating Expense Dashboard and Fleet Operating Cost Workbooks. Excel also displayed the Update Links dialog box because the Operating Expense Dashboard workbook has links to other workbooks. In this segment of the course, we grouped multiple sets of data. This concludes Section 7, Combining Data from Multiple Sources. In the next section of the course, we are going to analyze alternative data sets.